Paper Mario, what used to feel like it could be one of Nintendo's greatest franchises, has slowly over the years lost more and more of what made it fun in the first place. I've been a big Paper Mario fan since pretty much the beginning. I actually distinctly remember renting the N64 game as a child from my local video game store. I wasn't very good and couldn't get past the Goomba King for hours. Wow, that's... that's really depressing to think about. But I loved every second of it. And it was at that very moment when I tramped the Goomba King and felt a wave of satisfaction that I knew I love Paper Mario. And that love only grew as I continued to play through the game. I go to interesting locales like Star Hill, or meet interesting characters like Bombette, or even the Star Spirits, who, by the way, totally need to come back again. Mario Party 5 was their last appearance to my knowledge. Even the villains are super interesting though. No joke, the Koopa Bros are some of my favorite Mario villains, period. Partially because of their awesome theme song. Singing so I avoid copy. Now, fast forward a couple years. A young shy guy receives a Nintendo GameCube from his parents, and it wasn't long before I learned of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, and it was then that everything changed. I found myself playing it every single day and trying to get as far as I could. It was like someone took the original N64 game and carefully constructed it and improved upon it and without losing what was so beloved about the original. It had a unique cast of characters and locales. I mean, what other Mario game do you show up in the beginning town and the first thing you see is a noose in the center of town and then get robbed? Rogue Part is a shady place, guys. But one thing is for certain. I never forgot how much fun I had the first time I played the games, which is why the current state of Paper Mario is so disheartening to me. But that doesn't mean that all the games after Thousand Year Door are awful. Super Paper Mario was... alright. I was at least invested in the overall story somewhat, even if it did depart from what I loved about the series. It was still a semi-decent platformer with an alright mechanic to set it apart. But there were hardly any RPG elements. There was leveling up, but there were there were no partners at all. Okay, there weren't any real partners. My point is that, despite it not being like the games I loved, it could still stand on its own merits. Which is just a few more sheets of paper than I can say Sticker Star did. Sheets of paper? I don't know, just roll with it. Sticker Star is a dumb, paper-thin excuse for a game that should never have existed in the first place. Okay, fine, I'll set aside my personal bias and general disliking of Sticker Star to give it a fair shot. Where did I even put that game? And do you remember all the unique partners or other characters you would find out in the world, like Goombario or Bobbery? Sticker Star has none of that. Sticker Star has toads. Like, an abnormal amount of toads. Oh god, they're here! It's really frustrating because you could walk around a small area in Rogueport and see multiple different characters who are usually either a different race or have a different design. Sticker Star also does not have any partners whatsoever. Super Paper Mario may not have had good partners, but at least they freaking tried. If you ask me, the occasional toad can be funny or somewhat interesting, but seeing as how almost none of them are even a little bit interesting or have any importance to the plot, because of that, they all kind of seem to blend together in Sticker Star. Not to mention the story. Sticker Star's story is the same old R and R. Bowser did a bad. Go fix it, Mario. Remember the other two games? And third game that actually had a pretty good story. Yes, Bowser was the bad guy in the original Paper Mario 2, but one, that was the beginning of the franchise, and they may have been trying to play it safe. But two, that game still had more to it than that. Bowser stole the Star Rod and is actually able to defeat Mario for once. And in order for you to even stand a chance, you need to rescue the Star Spirits to put you back on an even playing field. Hey, what was that other Mario game where Bowser wins at the beginning? Oh yeah. And as for Color Splash, I haven't even bothered with it honestly. But from what I've heard, it was better, but still not good. Apparently it was essentially Sticker Star 2, but at least fixed the experience issue a little bit. Not entirely, but at least to the point where the battles don't feel worthless. And from what I've seen, the locales look at least a tiny bit varied, but honestly that's just not enough unless the core gameplay actually entertains me. Now I might be asking, Shy Guy, 
why are you talking about this? Well, it's because I feel that the past of Paper Mario is important to know about when looking towards the future. Color Splash and Sticker Star producer Kensuke Tanabe has gone on record saying that Color Splash was the end of their idea for the series at the moment. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Paper Mario straying from the series roots instantly makes it an awful game. They can still be good games despite that. I'm saying that it's a shame that the series has slowly become something nobody seems to want. I for one loved the first two games, or even three games, because they had a deep story and unique races and characters and interesting locales, and good gameplay to back it up. They were just really, really good experiences. Lately Nintendo has been changing, and in all the right ways. They took a series like Zelda and shook it up so much and let the staff have so much freedom that it resulted in the most unique and open Zelda game in years. Can you see an early Wii U Nintendo doing that? I sure can't. But this Nintendo? It just might be possible if Tanabe is doing something else when Paper Mario is ready for his next game. Before I go, I want to know, do you think it's possible that Nintendo will go back to old style Paper Mario, or is that hope torn to shreds? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time.